Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Flanagan High School. My name is Steve Rivero, and I'm the director of bands here at Flanagan High School. If you would be so kind at this time, please check your cell phone and ensure that it's in the silent mode, and then we'll get underway with our programs. So 13 years ago, I arrived, uh, I was appointed director of bands here at Flanagan, and I started this thing called the Concert Music Camp. So the Concert Music Camp involves not only the students at Flanagan High School, but it involves the two uh, middle schools that eventually come to Flanagan. Uh, of course, Walter C. Young Middle School and uh, Pines Middle School. So we have actually the directors uh, from both of those schools uh, that are here with us tonight before we begin. I want to make sure that we give a nice, healthy round of applause to uh, the director of bands at Pines Middle School, Ms. Crystal Romano, and the director of bands at Walter C. Young Middle School, Mr. Jordan Sawyer. Can we give them Obviously, have this thing called our MPA, that's our music performance assessment that we do every single year, typically happens in March. So, uh, for our two bands at Flanagan High School, the top band, the Wind Orchestra, and then the band that's on the stage right now, the Symphonic Wind, which is the intermediate level band, we start the preparation of their three songs that they're going to play for the music performance assessment. I started with them here, and literally just to kind of get it up, or there's a good skeleton up of it, they kind of make but it's in no way, shape, or form polished. And then we invite two guest conductors to work with them for three days. So they started Thursday after school, and then went Friday after school, and then today all day. Uh, at the same time that my two bands are rehearsing with the guest conductors, I get the opportunity to rehearse what I call the Flanagan Honor Band, and that's the combination of the two middle schools. So I've had the privilege of working with them uh, in our own Flanagan bedroom for the past three days. I've taken them on a tour of our school already. Uh, I've shown them uh, where the cafeteria is at, where the main office is at, and just absolutely done our best to make them feel at home. Uh, so that when they do eventually arrive at Flanagan High School, it'll be a real, real smooth transition. Uh, I have encouraged all of them to make sure that they be a part of the marching band. We've talked about that because I will tell you, the marching band is truly the discipline that teaches a lot more than just music, okay? I mean, I'm talking about life skills, uh, team building skills, and they have quite a bit of fun. I'm really excited to announce that we are going to go back and we're going to march in the Disney Parade again next school year, and that was a wonderful experience that we had for all of our students this past year, and we're going to duplicate it next year. So today, they had something special go on. And during the uh, concert music camp, and they had a chance to have a master class with a professional musician. So all of the flutes went together, both the high school and the middle school levels. All the clarinets went together in a classroom somewhere, the trombones, etc. And they got a chance to interact with a professional musician from the University of Miami. And that's like basically having a private lesson. And uh, it was wonderful. We talked about all the feedback afterwards and the tips and things like that. And then I talked to them about the importance of, hey, try and get some private lessons. I talked about how college is so expensive. And my parents have always told me, hey, you figure, better figure out which one's going to get you to college, whether it's going to be sports or it's going to be music. So I had to make uh, a pretty adult decision at a young age. And I think I chose the right one because I didn't have to pay a cent to go to the University of Miami because I put the bone and guess it's okay. So uh, I've encouraged them, hey, Try and get involved with some private lessons. You will really skyrocket and you will take off. So, the group that's in front of you right now, this is our intermediate level band, but I want to recognize the people that are in there that I think really uh, deserve to be recognized. So, we have a program called the Young Falcon Flyers Program here at Monday High School. It's where the students of Walter C. Young Middle School that are currently seventh graders have the opportunity to be involved in a dual enrollment program with high school, where they get high school credit. So they can choose from like six different courses that they offer here at Flanagan, and band is one of them. So they come over here every other day to have the band class, and they participate, even though they are in eighth grade, they're getting high school credit. So I would like you to join me in recognizing our students from the Young Falcon Flyer Program. Will you please stand up so that you can be recognized right now. Seventh graders that are in here right now uh, from Walter C. Young Middle School. 
and I've encouraged them to get involved. They can pair it with another course. They offer courses, I believe, like World Geography, French. I think there's even a debate program as well. And we'll be coming over to Walter C. Young Middle School soon to talk about the Young Falcon Flyers program. We've also encouraged all of them, even though they may be in eighth grade next year, they are eligible because we have the Young Falcon Flyers program to be a part of the marching group. So this evening at the end of the concert, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'm at your disposal, and please feel free to come up and, and ask away, because I would really like you to feel that you have a real good connection with the director of planning high school, myself, and we make this a real smooth transition. And I will tell you again, my parents always told me, hey, I don't care what you do, but you better make sure that you surround yourself with successful people, because that's the absolute key to success. The band program is one of the finest disciplines here at Flanagan High School, and I will go forward to say, in the state uh, of Florida. So the group that's on the stage right now, their guest conductor, he's originally from Tennessee. This is an incredible individual who right now is pursuing his graduate degree at Louisiana State University. I was introduced to him through the gentleman who's going to be the guest conductor of the Wind Orchestra that I will tell you about a little bit later on. You can read Mr. Bonner's bio, which is in uh, your program, but would you please put your hands together and please give a very nice South Florida welcome to Mr. Mark Bonner and the planning and
number. Uh, we have a little something that we want to present to Mr. Bonner, a small token of our appreciation for, for sharing his great talents and his gift of music with our students. It's wonderful to walk in and see your students just all smile when they have somebody new in front of them, but I'll tell you that there's been tremendous growth that we have all experienced because of Mr. Bonner's guidance. So we're going to Falcon Sound Eyes him, okay, and send him back to LSU. A little so of our
So, if you like, you, you will have probably about, I don't know, like maybe eight minutes or so by the time to make this switch. If you want to get up and uh, stretch your legs or grab another uh, little snack.
again next school year. And that was a wonderful experience that we had for all of our students this past year, and we're going to duplicate it next year. So today, they had something special go on and during the uh, concert music camp, and they had a chance to have a master class with a professional musician. So all of the flutes went together, both the high school and the middle school levels. All the clarinets went together in a classroom somewhere, the trombones, etc. And they got a chance to interact with a professional musician from the University of Miami. And that's like basically having a private lesson. And uh, it was wonderful. We talked about all the feedback afterwards and the tips and things like that. And then I talked to them about the importance of, hey, try and get some private lessons. I talked about how college is so expensive. And my parents have always told me, hey, you figure, better figure out which one's going to get you to college, whether it's going to be sports or it's going to be music. So I had to make uh, a pretty adult decision at a young age. And I think I chose the right one because I didn't have to pay a cent to go to the University of Miami because I played football and I guess okay. So uh, I've encouraged them, hey, try and get involved with some private lessons. You will really skyrocket and you will take off. So the group that's in front of you right now, this is our intermediate level band, but I want to recognize the people that are in there that I think really uh, deserve to be recognized. So we have a program called the Young Falcon Flyers Program here at Glenning High School. It's where the students of Walter C. Young Middle School that are currently seventh graders have the opportunity to be involved in a dual enrollment program with high school where they get high school credit. So they can choose from like six different courses that they offer here at Flanagan and band is one of them. So they come over here every other day to have the band class and they participate even though they are in eighth grade, they're getting high school credit. So I would like you to join me in recognizing our students from the Young Falcon Flyer Program, will you please stand up so that you can be recognized right now.
with our students. It's wonderful to walk in and see your students just all smile when they have somebody new in front of them, but I'll tell you that there's been tremendous growth that we have all experienced because of Mr. Bonner's guidance. So we're going to falcon sound eyes him, okay, and send him back to LSU with a little token of our
minutes or so by the time they make this switch. If you want to get up and uh, stretch your legs or grab another uh, little snack.